The Arrowverse is full of superheroes of all kinds. The thing they have in common is their strength that makes them superheroes and their commitment to fight for good. Yet, Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow also feature formidable villains that challenge our heroes at every turn. In this video, we're turning the spotlight on the 10 most powerful bad guys in the Arrowverse and ranking them from the most to least powerful. Number 10. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke. Slade Wilson, also known as Deathstroke, starts our list at number 10. Wilson remains one of the most popular villains in the Arrowverse, and he's also one of the most powerful. Despite a complete lack of superpowers, Slade is a masterful fighter who could go up against even the most well-trained fighter. The big bad of Arrow's second season, Oliver Queen had a very personal connection to Slade. The two became friends and allies on the island of Leon Yu, and Slade helped Oliver develop his combat skills. Then, Slade was enhanced and driven to madness by the Mirakuru Serum. He became practically invincible, and he also decided Oliver was his enemy. Their rivalry was tragic. In the course of going after Oliver, Slade even drove a sword through Oliver's mother. It was a diabolical act that also served as a statement of intent. Yet even without the Mirakuru, Slade is relentless. When he fights, he is unyielding and merciless. He doesn't hesitate to do what he has to do to win. Slade has since returned to Arrow as an ally to Oliver, yet no matter whose side he's on, he's proven that it's not worth getting on his bad side. Number 9. Gorilla Grodd The introduction of a giant gorilla who's telepathic and possesses a genius level intellect sounds like a really good way for a show to jump the shark. Or the king shark, maybe. Anyone? Anyone? Amazingly, the Flash's introduction and periodic return to Gorilla Grodd has fit in just fine in a world full of oddly meta-powered people. And as a giant, extremely intelligent gorilla, Grodd is a pretty powerful individual, which is why he's at number 9 on our list. Yet Grodd's story is surprisingly sad. Subject to animal testing at Star Labs, Grodd was twisted into something evil. Then he became a meta and developed psychic abilities that allowed him to get into people's heads. Between his meta powers and the strength any giant gorilla would wield, Grodd is extremely difficult to overcome. He even managed to overpower Barry at one point. Yet Grodd is loyal to those few individuals he cares for. For example, he followed the reverse Flash when he believed that he was Harrison Wells, the only human that treated him with kindness. Team Flash sent Garad to Gorilla City on Earth 2 to give him a chance to be with his own kind. However, he developed a hunger for power and plotted to take over Central City. After becoming a prisoner of Argus, he escaped multiple times. At one point, he started a cult to worship him in Vietnam, and at another, he went against King Shark. Now he's back in Argus custody. But who knows how long he'll stay there. Number 8. Niren. Many of the villains on Legends of Tomorrow haven't made the biggest or best impression. However, when the 8th entry on our list, the demon Niren, possessed Ray Palmer's body towards the end of Season 4, things quickly got personal. Unbeknownst to the team, Niren had been pulling strings behind the scenes for quite some time. He'd even recruited Nate Hayward's father to his cause. Also, he held a personal grudge against the Legends because they sent his beloved Tabitha to hell. Ultimately, once Niren gained permanent control of Ray's body, he used Ray's persona as a tech guru to trick the public. Not only did he get them to sign away their souls, he also stoked fear by showing them that magical creatures really do exist. His plan was to use that fear to create a literal hell on Earth, and he came extremely close to getting his wish. In the end, one of the legends had to sacrifice himself to bring Niren down, an extreme solution to overcome a very powerful villain. Number 7. Savitar. Coming in at number 7 is Savitar, an evil speedster among a host of evil speedsters that the Flash has faced. Of course, this one brought a little something extra. He actually was the Flash. This Barry Allen from the future, a rejected and angry time remnant, was scarred both figuratively and literally. Not only was he faster than Barry and came with a host of other powers, he remembered everything Barry did. 
This kept him one step ahead of Team Flash no matter what they did. Barry discovered that Savitar was destined to end Iris' life, so the team spent much of their time attempting to figure out how to prevent that reality from coming to pass. Eventually, they succeeded in averting disaster, but Savitar remained a terrible threat. It's Iris who ultimately took him out, erasing him from existence. Number 6. Ra Al Ghul. Our number 6 choice is Ra Al Ghul, the long-lived head of the League of Assassins. Ross has the distinction of being the only person to have almost taken out the Green Arrow on his own show. Ross's reputation preceded him. His name struck fear in the hearts of those who had heard of him. And when he finally made an appearance, he proved to be a formidable foe. Although Ross didn't have any superpowers, he was an expert combatant, able to take anyone on with a sword, arrow, or even his bare hands. He was also responsible for the training of a startling number of the characters in the Arrowverse. The other thing Roz had going for him was an extremely long life that gave him a measured perspective. This made him a master tactician and on Arrow, the thing he decided he wanted the most was for Oliver Queen to be a successor. And Roz came surprisingly close to getting his way despite Oliver's complete lack of desire to take up his mantle. Number 5 Lex Luthor. At number 5 is a name that should set off alarm bells for anyone familiar with pop culture, Lex Luthor. Lex, of course, is Superman's archenemy. Yet in season 4 of Supergirl, with Superman away from Earth on Argo, he became the Girl of Steel's problem. And what a problem he was. Lex's power doesn't rest in his physical strength and speed. It comes from his overpowering intelligence, his excessive wealth, and his ability to manipulate everyone around him. Lex strategizes his evil plans with ruthless precision, and the plan he executed on Supergirl was truly dastardly. Lex had been in jail for some time putting his multi-pronged plan into motion. In that time, he created Red Daughter, a Supergirl doppelganger from the country of Kaznia. He also used a patsy to stoke fear of aliens in the public. Plus, he managed to make all sorts of secret alliances to ensure that he could execute his plan, including the President of the United States. Then he started a war between Kaznia and America and used it to turn himself into a hero. He even took out Red Daughter to convince the population that he was their savior. Ultimately, his hatred for Superman and Kryptonians in general prevented his plan from coming to fruition. But Lex came uncomfortably close to succeeding, despite even his family opposing him. Number 4. Damien Dark. At number 4 is Damien Dark, who was first introduced on Arrow but also became a major Legends of Tomorrow villain. Dark was originally a member of the League of Assassins. That would make him deadly enough. However, Dark eventually acquired magical abilities that made him almost unstoppable. Despite the charismatic baddies evil planned and the world while keeping just a select few safe in an arc, he was a dedicated family man. That didn't mean that he respected other people's families. Hive, the organization he founded following his departure from the League, was even deadlier than they were. He also made things personal with Team Arrow when he took out Laurel Lance. Dark came very close to carrying out his world-ending scheme until he lost his wife and his arc was destroyed. Even though Oliver ended his life, Dark didn't stay gone for long. A past version of him teamed with Eobard Thawne and Malcolm Merlin, formed the Legion of Doom and went up against the Legends. Later, his daughter Nora resurrected him and they wrecked havoc together. Eventually, though, he sacrificed himself to save her. A small act of redemption in a life full of crime and destruction. Number 3. Zoom Ranked at number 3 is Zoom, the alter ego of Hunter Zolomon. As the introduction of The Flash reminds us, the Scarlet Speedster is the fastest man alive, yet Zoom easily had him beat. He used his speed to overpower the Flash and break his back. The thing that made Zoom even scarier was the way that he initially ingratiated himself to the team. Like many of the villains on our list, Zoom had a personal connection to the people on Team Flash. In this case, Zoom went out of his way to make that happen. He presented himself as Jay Garrick, the Flash from Earth 2. Then he filled the team in on all the horrible things Zoom had done on his Earth, including how he took over and kept other metas under his thumb. 
playing both ends against the middle, he even caught the eye of Caitlyn Snow and the two started a relationship. Then he used her feelings for him to get her to save his life after he'd slowly poisoned his body with a speed enhancing velocity serum. After that he created a time remnant to make it seem like Zoom ended Jay's life. Of course, Jay is Zoom, and when Team Flash discovered the truth, they learned his horrible backstory too. Like Barry, Hunter Zolomon was orphaned at an early age. However, with no one to care for him, he ended up in an orphanage. Full of rage and resentment, he eventually took the lives of multiple victims and ended up in a mental institution. That is, until the explosion at Star Labs turned him into a speedster. After the team learned who they were really up against, Zoom let go of all pretense and taunted them with his evil deeds. Barry beat him in the end, and ultimately he was sucked into the speed force by Time Wraiths and became the Black Flash. Number 2. Rain Our second most powerful villain is Rain, who gave Supergirl a serious run for her money throughout season 3 of her self-titled show. Before fans met Rain, they met Samantha Aris, the incoming CEO of Elcorp. Sam was a caring mother and became a good friend to Kara, Lena, and Alex. We learned all about her troubled past and then slowly we discovered that Sam wasn't who she appeared to be. Sam was actually a Kryptonian sleeper agent called Rain, yet her alter ego was so buried even Sam wasn't aware of it. Soon her powers were awakened and Rain started to take over for longer and longer periods of time. Rain was no ordinary Kryptonian. She was a world killer created through dark magic and genetic enhancement with a mission to exact justice in brutal and merciless ways. Despite she and Supergirl having similar powers, Rain was the superior fighter. At one point, she bested Supergirl so decisively, Supergirl was out of commission for some time, and Supergirl is one of the strongest heroes in the Arrowverse. She's even beaten Superman in the past. If that weren't enough, Rain eventually joined up with two other world killers and absorbed their powers too. In the end, Rain beat Supergirl and her team, and it was only through time travel that Supergirl managed to set things right. Number 1. Reverse Flash Speeding into the top spot on our list is none other than the Reverse Flash, the closest thing to an arch nemesis Barry Allen has. The Reverse Flash, aka Eobard Thawne, was the first big bad Team Flash ever faced, and five seasons later, he's still meddling in their lives. Thawne isn't just a speedster, he's a genius from the 22nd century and he uses that intellect to constantly get faster, to understand the speed force and even to create his own negative speed force. Thawne has also shown himself to be resilient in a way few other Arrowverse villains can match. He's been erased from the timeline and yet somehow he's come back. Originally appearing in the guise of Harrison Wells, the founder of Star Labs, Thawne trained a newly powered Barry to gain his trust, yet it was all for his own benefit as are most of his plans. Most recently, he manipulated Barry and Iris' daughter Nora to arrange events so he would be freed from prison. While he seemed to genuinely care for Nora, that didn't prevent him from using her to pursue his own advantage once again. Reverse Flash's combination of brains and speed, plus an ability to continue to come back no matter the circumstances, makes him the most powerful villain in the Arrowverse. After his escape from prison in the Flash's season 5 finale, it's only a matter of time before the Reverse Flash is threatening our heroes once more. Do you agree with our ranking of Arrowverse villains? Share your perspective in the comments section down below. And don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to The Binger for more great pop culture videos. Thanks for watching.